Our next deputation will be from our Director of Economic Development, Bonnie Brown. And she's going to give us an, uh, an update on Mississauga's economic overview. Welcome. Thank you. Good afternoon, Mayor, members of Council. It's my privilege to share with you a closer look at Mississauga's economy. Uh, during my presentation, I'll be highlighting key areas of Mississauga's recent growth story, and I'll share some interesting statistics about our key industry sectors, as well demonstrate how we're growing from within by working with our existing business community. Bonnie, I just wonder if you might just speak a little closer to the microphone. Oh, I'm in better okay. trouble. Yeah, thank okay. you. Thank you. Thanks so much. I'll, uh, so I'll, I'll share some interesting statistics about our key industry sectors and demonstrate how we're growing from within by working with our existing business community to build a robust, diverse uh, economy that's sustainable. I'll close the presentation by sharing some uh, very interesting statistics about our small business growth and employment. Mississauga has a compelling growth story, so let's start with some interesting statistics that you may find uh, interesting. Did you know that over 230,000 people commute regularly to Mississauga from surrounding regions? That makes up over 50% of our total employment base. Over the past three years, despite Mississauga's population growth of 1.7%, our local businesses have grown by 5.7% and the total employment has increased by 4.2%. If we look closely at how we compare with the provincial uh, averages, Mississauga's growth remains strong and comparable. As demonstrated on this slide, our total employment surpasses the provincial uh, employment growth by 0.7%. And if we look at how Mississauga compares within the GTA, our employment growth accounts for 14.5%. This is well above any of the other GTA uh, municipalities and second to Toronto. Turning to our key sectors, Mississauga is home to a diverse number of sector concentrations that are unique within Canada. Our ranking is well above Canada's key industry sectors. As you can see here on this slide that each sector's share of total employment in Mississauga is much higher than the sector's share of employment relative to Canada. Not only are these sectors areas of global competitiveness, they are also high value drivers of our economy. We estimate that our uh, key sectors account for 28% of our total employment, but over 40% of our total economic output. So now I'd just like to highlight three of our key industry sectors, our aerospace sector. So not only is Mississauga's aerospace sector ranking first in Canada, it's also globally recognized by FDI Intelligence Aerospace Cities of the Future. Global rankings we've achieved for best innovation and attractiveness, and second for best overall FDI strategy. With over 345 aerospace companies, uh, we have 28,000 employees. It's the largest aerospace sector in Canada. In the past five years, the number of uh, aerospace related businesses in Mississauga increased by 18% compared to 2% growth in Canada. And this sector shows no signs of slowing down. We've had recent investment announcements by our local aerospace industry leaders, such as MHI. They've announced a 208,000 square foot expansion, and certainly Bombardier's announcement to build a center of excellence for its global business jets here in Mississauga is quite exciting. Our life sciences sector, you may recall Council in 2017, Mississauga adopted a five-year life sciences cluster strategy. This strategy was quite unique in that it was the first municipality to pass a 
uh, cluster strategy. And we've set out a bold vision for Mississauga to be a life sciences commercialization hub in Canada. Already, we're the second largest life sciences cluster in Canada, uh, and we've also seen some recent investments by GlaxoSmithKline announcing a $36 million investment to modernize their plant. And uh, we've also seen announcements by Bayless Medical with their announcement of an expansion to their R&D uh, and manufacturing facility. Our life sciences sector now employs over 24,000 employees. The GTA was recently recognized as the fastest growing technology talent hub in North America, and Mississauga is at the center of it all. We have the second largest cluster of ICT companies within the Toronto Waterloo Innovation Corridor. That's more than Kitchener, Waterloo, or Markham combined. With over 700 ICT companies employing 30,000 people, we've seen a, no a number of growth as well in this technology sector. With our very own homegrown SOTI making an announcement of uh, an, uh, 20, 725 additional employees that they plan on hiring. And in July, Cognizant, a Fortune 500 company, opened a 50,000 square foot uh, regional technology and service center. Cognizant has partnered with local colleges to launch a technology skills and training program. By the end of this year, Cognizant expect to have hired 600 employees. By taking a sector-based approach, we are gardening what we have, ensuring that the right support systems are in place to build the strong, globally competitive industry clusters. And the term that I like to use is growing from within. A great example of growing from within is the work that EDO has done recently on workforce development. We know that business investment decisions are made principally around having the right access to talent. And through the work of our dedicated sector specialists, EDO uses our unique position in connecting business needs with the broader economic workforce development ecosystem. To ensure that we're keeping pace with industry needs, we have assembled two sector councils made up of leading business leaders from the life sciences and advanced manufacturing sector. Our sector councils allow us to hear firsthand what's happening in the industry and ensuring that we're keeping ahead of the trends and opportunities. An outcome of this dialogue with industry is showing here in this picture, MHI Structural Airplanes Apprenticeship Program for Youth. This is a great example of industry being proactive to fuel their talent pipeline. And finally, I'll move towards small business. They have a huge impact on our economic growth. And after all, they are the cornerstone of our neighborhoods. The vast majority of businesses within Mississauga are self-employed or have less than five employees. Together, this group accounts for 87% of businesses in the city. This share of small business is comparable to other Canadian cities. Over one in 10 Mississauga residents have identified themselves as self-employed. If we look at the last three years, the number of businesses self-employed grew by 11.4%. Well, businesses with employees grew by 5.7. In many ways, entrepreneurship represents the current future of, and the face of employment. Entrepreneurship is a career path of choice for a growing number of young people and newcomers to Canada, both of which are population groups with a high prevalence in Mississauga. Therefore, it's critical that EDO continue to help small business and entrepreneurs grow and contribute to the economic growth and vitality. An example of this type of support is told through this gentleman, Satish Therajaran. He 
is co-founder of Zebra Robotics, who trains engineers and technologists of the future. Satish received training and mentorship from EDO's Enterprise Center through the Starter Company Plus program. Our Enterprise Center is located in our downtown at Central Library, and we offer one-on-one -on -one business consultations, business plan reviews, low-cost business seminars and workshops, as well as youth, youth entrepreneurship programs. So Mississauga has a really compelling business story about innovation, growth, and prosperity. And to help share these stories, we've recently launched a new economic development marketing campaign entitled Unlimited. It showcases our business leaders, our champions, and their journeys of success in Mississauga. I'll conclude the presentation by leaving you with these key messages. Mississauga continues, Mississauga's economy continues to perform strong. As a high net importer of labor, contributing significantly to the region's employment growth, we have a diverse number of key sectors that perform well above the Canadian growth rates. And the small business and entrepreneurs, they are contributing significantly to our employment growth. We, in economic development, with the support of mayor and council, we will continue to challenge status quo by maintaining close relationships with our business community, conducting research and analysis of our key industry sectors to ensure that we're providing the right services, infrastructure, and programs to support our economy. Mississauga's future is unlimited. Thank you. It is indeed. Thank you so much, Bonnie. Don't go anywhere yet. Councillor Rass, please. Thank you very much, Madam Mayor. Uh, thank you for the presentation, Bonnie. I'm, I'm very pleased with uh, the direction that we're going with the new Unlimited campaign. I think we can leverage a lot of our assets. Um, one of the things that I'm, I'm, I like that we can stick to, and it has long-term plan, which is the key sector strategy. Um, uh, you know, speaking with um, uh, with Mayor Crombie and some of the other uh, companies around uh, Mississauga and elsewhere, we we've been very good and strategic on trying to secure certain companies in certain sectors and rather than throwing spaghetti against a wall and seeing what sticks I think this very strategic um, direction is is what we need to go to be successful to attract the companies that we want here um, so I just wanted to say thank you to you and your team um, but one other comment is that when it comes to the small business program I know that we we have amazing programs for uh, making sure our small businesses are successful and for entrepreneurship um, but I think we need to do more uh, outreach. I don't, uh, speaking to the smaller companies, especially in the BIA, I don't, I don't see us getting that reach in there. And uh, I'd be happy to maybe at our next EDO meet or EDAB meeting uh, mm -hmm. to, uh, to sit down and discuss how we can uh, improve that outreach to the small businesses. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Bonnie. So just as there is no other municipality that has a strategy to build more affordable housing for the middle class, there's no other municipality that has strategies to build their life sciences sector. Only, only you do, Bonnie. Only Mississauga does, and as well, the Advanced Manufacturing Employment Strategy on Skills and Training. So we're very proud of you and what we've done. And I had a look, at, look back at the past four years in working together, and I think it was 430 companies we grew or expanded, uh, about 11,500 jobs and about 20 million to the tax base so congratulations it's a, it's great, a collective, great effort. collective effort yes but nonetheless so we're very, very proud of you so we have a mover councillor rast you have to move the deputy thank you for coming i see no further questions thank you